Hello, welcome to today's episode. Today, I just want to share something briefly with us that the Holy Ghost laid in my heart. It's um, we're taking our Revelations chapter 12 and verse 11. It said, I will read from verse 7 to give it a context. It said, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angel. And the dragon fought and his angels. Verse 8, um, And prevail not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And remember, the word of God says that we sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. So the place of Satan was no longer found in heaven anymore. I want you to take note of that. So when every time you keep hearing people say, Oh, Satan is oppressing me. You remember to go with this consciousness of the place of Satan is not in heaven. And the scripture said to us, we sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. So therefore, Satan is not around me because I sit in heaven. My children sit in heaven. My family sit in heaven. Do you understand? So I'll read it again. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. And prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And a great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud sound saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which is which accused them before our God day and night. And verse 11 said, And they overcame him by the blood. Overcame. Get the word. It is not overcome. And they overcame him by the blood. So it means that it was all, it was done, settled. So, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony testimony and they love not their life unto death they overcame so what does that mean it is something that was done in the past so remember the scripture says that we sit in heavenly places with christ jesus which means that if satan was cast upon the head and we sit in heavenly places with christ jesus satan has no domain in our lives so his activities had no power in our, around us. One of the things you have to understand about the word the, the Satan is light. The word of God says that he sent his word unto Jacob and he lighted upon Israel. Now, when you have the light of the word of God, you know who you are in Christ. You understand the finished work of Christ for you. You will pray less. You will, you will know how to take charge. So what do you do when you know that you are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus and you begin to see situations that negate what God has told you, what the scripture has told you, what do you do? You begin to reverse it. I sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Satan has been cast upon the earth. I am not a earth. I'm a heavenly creature. Now, I need you to have an understanding. A British citizen with a British passport goes to Nigeria or go to anywhere in Africa or anywhere in the world, does that change the identity of that British citizen not to be a British citizen? An American citizen that decides to say, okay, I want to go and live in Susan's, or I live in Susan's whole country, but I'm an American citizen, does that change the identity? No. So if God says we are heavenly citizens, we even sit with Christ in heavenly places. So why do you allow the situations and circumstances around you to, 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 to dictate to you your identity on earth? What do you do? You address the situation. Because you know you are a heavenly being. And devil has been, Satan as his angels has been cast to the earth. You sit in heavenly places to cry Jesus. You begin to address the situation by his word. The word of God said to me, I'm the head and not the tail. He said, all things are working together for my good. I am the light of this world, the salt of the earth. My life will not lose taste. You begin to speak God's word into your life and begin to, and let the devil know that get out of here. This is heaven. You cannot come near my dwelling. You cannot come near where I am because I sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. 
I want someone to take that understanding. I don't know who this word is for, but whoever this word is for, I want you to be encouraging God and let yourself know that the blood you have overcame Satan, his tricks, his antics, his agents, you overcame it by the blood. It is not like you overcome. Ah, kayada bayada. If you understand, you overcame it by the blood. It is something you, it is past tense. So it is done and dusted. You overcame Satan by his blood. So whatever he's throwing at you, whatever situations that looks as if, ah, what is going on? When, when will this be over? Remind yourself, no, I overcame this situation by the blood. I overcame these challenges by the blood. I overcame this phase of my life by the blood of Jesus. Begin to declare the blood of Jesus. You overcame by the blood. Even if Satan had planted your agent in your life, remember, you overcame by the blood. If you understand that, he said you, they overcame by the blood of the lamb <laughs> and the words of their testimony. What is the word of your testimony? The word of your testimony is the word of God says that I sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. What is your testimony? Read verse 7. Verse 7 said, and they fought. He, Satan has been defeated. So that is your testimony. Satan is defeated. So you have overcome. You have overcame by the blood. So because you overcame by the blood and the word of your testimony is that Satan has has been defeated and that you sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus, you begin to declare the word of God. I overcame by the blood. Even the agent planted in my life, I overcame by the blood. Anything that is surrounding me that negates the word of God, I overcame by the blood because the blood of God, the word of God says that I am seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. And he said, all things are working together for my good. He didn't say one, all. So I want to speak to someone today. Maybe you've walked into a wrong atmosphere or you're in the wrong people, you're in the wrong environment, you're in the wrong relationship, you're in a wrong place that you don't even know. You have made mistakes. You don't even know how, how you were manipulated, how the devil, the devil in, the, in the mind of the Satan and his angels and agents, they think they've gotten you down. But guess what? The word of God says, even that situation is going to work together for your good because the scriptures cannot be broken. He said, oh, kayadada. All things work together for my good. All, eka. Balade kayadada. All things work together. All, all, all. And he said, I overcame by the blood of the lamb. Ekayadada. And by the words of my testimony. Male barade kabayada. I pray for someone. The Lord give you understanding. In the name of Jesus. The Lord give you understanding. You overcame by the blood. In the name of Jesus, you overcame by the blood. In the name of Jesus and by the words of your testimony, you overcame. You are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. I decree and declare the word of God that says that all things are working together for your good. Whatever situations you are, whatever challenges that you are facing in life, I decree the Lord will turn it for your good. In the name of Jesus, it will work together for your good. In the name of Jesus, in Bradosha, it is working together for your good. It is turning for your favor. It is turning for your advancement. It is turning for a testimony. He say, and this shall turn for a testimony. Whatever situation is, is it is turning for a testimony in your life, in your family, in your career, in your marital destiny. It is turning for a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. All things are working together for your good. The lies are falling onto you in pleasant places. The Lord overturn it for your favor. It is your time to testify. The year will not come to an end without your testimony showing up because heaven has answered you because He said you over came by the blood and by the words of their test of your testimony in the name of jesus i decree it is well with you in jesus name i want you to take this home take this word you overcame by the blood Ayada. if you understand that scripture go back and read it revelations just go go to revelations and read revelations chapter 12 and verse 11 start from verse 7 you will understand that you to give you more understanding. You overcame by the blood, and you and they love not their life unto death. So the blood is speaking. He said, The life of the flesh is in the blood. So the blood of Jesus, the blood of the everlasting covenant, the blood of the new covenant is speaking over you. So you overcame. You have over you are not overcoming you. It is something that is done. 
you are overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of, their testimony, of your testimony. So the Lord bless you today. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope this word bless you. By the time I will see you next time, you shall be testifying in the name of Jesus. Do have a lovely day and God bless you. Bye for now.